Hey guys, it's Brittany and welcome back to Brittany Ween 2021. So today's video, I wanted to do something different. You can't see me, but you sure can hear me. <laughs> so I'm getting back into my series on my channel where I read my subscribers real paranormal stories. And today I wanted to do an audio version, almost like a podcast in a way. I don't know I just thought this was kind of different and if you want to check out my past videos in the series then definitely check out the videos up above I have it in a playlist for you so you don't really have to watch this video you can just have it playing in the background so you can listen to some really creepy paranormal ghost stories paranormal encounters so are you guys ready here we go. My old high school teacher once told my entire class that one day at night, her sister was asleep. And while she was asleep, someone was in the room with her. This guy was on top of her, holding a knife towards her throat. And he slowly started to cut her neck. And while the guy was doing that, her grandfather visited her in her sleep to let her know there's a guy in the room on top of her with a knife. Once she woke up, that guy was in her room on top of her with a knife. She fought him off and ran out of the room, then called the police. This happened to me a couple months ago when I was at my dad's for the weekend and I was sleeping on the chair. I had a dream what felt very real and I saw my dad come in and call my name. He sat down on a chair and I felt he was watching me sleep, and I was looking at him, and he kept staring at me. Then, I woke up, and a couple of minutes later, my dad comes in and checks in on me, but I'm not asleep. Till this day, I find this dream strange and bizarre. Another strange dream I had was a couple years ago. I was in my middle school library, looking for books and turning other books in, and I heard soft crying coming from behind the desk. When I went behind the desk, I saw a shadow figure of a little boy. It was horrifying. I froze in place by fear, and then he looked up at me. I ran away, and I ran into the librarian, and they asked why I was in the library. I told him why, and before I can say more, he stopped me and said the library was closed. So I don't know who or what I saw crying behind the desk, but it scared me so bad. I told a few friends, and they claimed to see the same little shadow boy figure. This happened to me when I was in the ninth grade. Me and my classmates were in the cooking laboratory on the fourth floor of my school. The fourth floor is used for two cooking labs, a sewing room and a gymnasium on the other building. The building where the cooking lab and the sewing room is located is in the old building and the gymnasium is in the new one. And it's an extension from the old building. So I excused myself to my teacher so I could go into the bathroom. When I was inside, I heard the door open. When I got out of the cubicle, I checked if there was someone who entered and there was no one. I ran out of fear and told my friends what happened. After that, I never go alone. Two years ago, I was playing hide and go seek with my little sister. She was supposed to count and so my brother and I went to hide somewhere. So I went up to the second floor to hide. When she was done counting, she began looking for us. All of a sudden, I heard this weird, crazy laugh come from downstairs. What was extremely creepy about that laugh was that it sounded like me, but more psycho. I heard my sister crying and couldn't help but run downstairs to see what was going on. What she told me haunts me to this day. She said that she went into my parents' room and looked behind the door. There she saw me standing, but couldn't see my face and the room itself was dark. She then said that I looked at her and began cackling like a maniac. I was speechless and told her that wasn't me she saw. I told her I was hiding on the second floor the entire time and she just looked at me with a shocked expression. Apparently, my doppelganger wore the exact same clothes as me but was slightly pale according to my sister. We decided to stop the game right there and comfort my sister instead. And of course, when I looked behind the same door, there was no one 
there. All right, so those are the stories that I decided to share in this video. This series will obviously still continue because there's so many stories that you guys have sent me, your own personal ghost stories, which I am so honored to share on my channel and I'm so happy that you want me to share them on my channel so i will continue to do so so let me know if you like this way better with the kind of a narration i guess you could say well obviously you know it's an audio um obviously i will have footage playing in the background but like i said you don't actually have to watch this you can just listen to it if you want in the background while you're doing something else it's totally up to you so i hope that you enjoyed this and let me know down below if you want me to continue doing videos like this i just thought it was something different to do for october thank you guys so much for watching as always you rock my world and the song lyrics michael jackson hashtag team pretty 44 hashtag both with the wrens hey and i will see you guys in my next video bye